For over a decade, Boston Dynamics has been the king of robotics, stunning the world with parkour robots, backflipping machines, and military prototypes. But now, something unexpected is happening. In 2025, a Chinese robot, built with domestic AI and homegrown engineering, just outperformed Boston Dynamics in real-world testing. Faster, smarter, cheaper. This isn't science fiction. It's a wake-up call. In today's video, we're diving deep into the robot that's making headlines, what it means for the global tech race, and why China's rise in AI robotics is no longer just catching up. It's leading. For years, Boston Dynamics was untouchable. Their robotic dog, Spot, and humanoid robot, Atlas, captivated audiences across the globe, doing backflips, opening doors, and even dancing. The company became the gold standard in robotics, blending mechanical engineering with software intelligence in a way no one else could match. Until now. In 2025, a breakthrough came from an unexpected place. China's Unitree Robotics, in partnership with AI researchers from top Chinese universities and Huawei's Emerging Robotics Division. Their new robot, Unitree H1, just beat Boston Dynamics in both agility and decision-making tests during a recent robotics challenge in Singapore. What exactly happened? During a live demonstration that shocked the audience and judges alike, Unitree's humanoid robot completed a series of obstacle navigation, terrain adaptation, and reactive tasks faster and with fewer errors than Boston Dynamics' latest Atlas prototype. The Chinese robot, adapted in real time to unstable surfaces, identified and reacted to obstacles without pre-programmed paths, executed human-level movement coordination using onboard vision and LLM-based planning. This wasn't just a flashy performance, it was a test of applied intelligence. And the most impressive part? All components, from the processors to the operating system, were developed domestically in China. Why this matters? This isn't just about who builds the better robot. This is about the global AI arms race, and the front is shifting. China is investing billions into AI robotics, with government-backed funding targeting education, industrial automation, and national defense. While the West often struggles with regulatory red tape and export restrictions, China is rapidly building an end-to-end -end ecosystem, from chip design to neural network training, all under one roof. On DTA, the Unitree H1 is the physical embodiment of that strategy. What used to be an imitation game has now turned into disruption. Western firms like Boston Dynamics are now being challenged, not copied. What's next? China isn't just building robots to go viral, it's deploying them at scale. Factories, logistics hubs, and even hospitals are testing AI-powered humanoids and quadrupeds for real-world tasks. And with ongoing chip restrictions from the U.S., China is doubling down on domestic chip production, ensuring that innovation doesn't get throttled by geopolitics. If this trend continues, we may look back at 2025 not as the year China caught up, but as the year they took the lead. Up next, we explore the deeper implications and how digital control, surveillance, and AI freedom intersect. Plus, why protecting your online privacy is more important than ever, and how NordVPN helps you stay secure in a world driven by AI. As China's robotics industry accelerates, one question becomes impossible to ignore. Where is this all heading? The Unitree H1's victory over Boston Dynamics wasn't just a technical milestone, it was a signal. A signal that China is no longer just participating in the AI race. It's shaping the track. But with that rise comes a deeper layer. Control. You see, much of China's AI development is happening within a tightly coordinated ecosystem. State-backed funding, domestic hardware, and centralized data access. It's fast, efficient, and powerful, but also heavily monitored. Every AI model, every cloud-connected robot, Every decision engine is subject to data policies that prioritize the state. And that brings us to something personal, your privacy. In a world where AI is increasingly integrated into everything, from your phone to your smart home to your car, protecting your digital identity is no longer optional. That's why I use NordVPN. Whether I'm researching Chinese tech, checking international markets, or just watching region-blocked content, NordVPN helps me stay safe and anonymous online. It encrypts your internet traffic, hides your IP, and lets you browse freely, even in countries where content is restricted. 
And if you're traveling, investing, or just curious about what's happening across borders, it gives you that extra layer of protection that modern life demands. I've included a link below with a special offer. And yes, it supports the channel too. Now, back to what this means globally. As Western governments continue to restrict exports of AI chips and tensions rise over intellectual property and surveillance concerns, China is responding not by retreating, but by innovating faster. Robotics isn't just an industry. It's becoming a pillar of national identity, a showcase of what Chinese self-reliance in technology looks like. And while the U.S. focuses on software dominance, with OpenAI, Google DeepMind, and MetaRacing to build the smartest LLMs, China is embedding intelligence into hardware. Their AI isn't just talking, it's walking, climbing stairs, carrying packages, and navigating dynamic environments in real time. That's a fundamental difference. And it matters. Because in the next phase of the AI revolution, the winners won't be the ones with the smartest chatbot. They'll be the ones who can put intelligence into motion OHMOR and deploy it at scale. China's new generation of AI robots from Unitree to Fourier to Huawei-backed platforms are no longer experiments. They're prototypes for a future where machines are workers, assistants, and even defenders. And if current trends hold, the rest of the world may soon be playing catch-up. Coming up, the companies behind this movement, and whether you should be watching or investing. When we talk about China's AI robotics rise, it's not just about one robot or one company. It's about an entire ecosystem that's forming rapidly, backed by government support, private capital, and a long-term vision to dominate the physical AI space. Let's start with the most visible player right now, Unitree Robotics. Founded in Hangzhou in 2016, they began as a niche startup building agile quadruped robots. Fast forward to 2025, and Unitree has become one of the fastest scaling robotics companies in the world, pushing out both consumer-level bots and industrial-grade humanoids like the H1. But Unitree is just the tip of the spear. Another name you need to know is Fourier Intelligence. They specialize in rehabilitation and assistive robotics, but recently expanded into AI-powered humanoid development with their GR1 robot. This bot is already being tested in hospitals and care centers in China, performing basic tasks like delivery, patient monitoring, and support, and doing it in real-world conditions. Then there's Huawei. While mostly known for telecom and smartphones, Huawei has been quietly building out its robotics and AI chip division, developing processors specifically optimized for edge robotics and autonomous systems. Combined with Harmony OS and their own cloud infrastructure, Huawei is positioning itself as the full-stack provider for Chinese AI hardware. All of these companies benefit from one thing the West often lacks, alignment. In China, public and private sectors collaborate openly. The government provides funding and policy direction while companies execute fast. This reduces friction, speeds up R&D, and gets robots out of the lab and into the field. In fact, China's Ministry of Industry and Information Technology recently announced a strategic roadmap to integrate AI robots into 50% of national logistics hubs by 2027. That means warehouses, airports, metro systems, and even hospitals will soon be filled with intelligent machines, all domestically built. This is no longer a future trend. It's a present reality, moving faster than most realize. And while Western media focuses on humanoid demos and flashy videos, China is quietly building real deployment networks at national scale and gaining invaluable feedback with every step. Coming up, is the West already too far behind? Or are there still advantages left for the US and its allies in the AI arms race? Let's break it down. Is the West falling behind in the AI robotics race? It's a complicated question. On one hand, China is making huge strides, building hardware, scaling production, and deploying robots in public infrastructure. But on the other, the US and its allies still control many of the foundational tools behind artificial intelligence. Let's look at strengths the West still holds. First, there's software dominance. The most advanced large language models and reinforcement learning algorithms still come out of companies like OpenAI, Google DeepMind, Anthropic, and Meta. These models, especially GPT, Gemini, and Claude, are pushing the limits of reasoning, planning, and generalization. And while China is making progress with models like Baidu's Ernie and Alibaba's Tongyi Qianwen, 
They still lag behind in global benchmarks and English language performance. The West's open source AI community also plays a massive role, driving rapid iteration and experimentation, something China's more closed system can't always match. Second, venture capital and academic freedom continue to give US-based AI labs a creative edge. Stanford, MIT, and Carnegie Mellon remain powerhouses for robotics innovation, spinning off companies like Boston Dynamics, Agility Robotics, and Figure AI. These startups aren't just building machines. They're building full-stack AI-powered mobility platforms, targeting logistics, retail, and even home assistance. And let's not forget about chip design. Despite China's advances in domestic fabrication, the most powerful AI chips still come from NVIDIA, AMD, and Intel, all US-based. These chips power nearly every LLM, simulation environment, and training pipeline globally. Even if China can produce at scale, the bleeding-edge performance is still largely Western. So why does it feel like China is catching up so fast? Because it is, but not in the same way. The West is innovating vertically. Better models, better chips, better tools. China, meanwhile, is innovating horizontally, integrating AI into logistics, healthcare, education, and infrastructure faster and at greater scale. You could think of it this way. The West is building the smartest AI. China is deploying AI in the most places. And in robotics, deployment speed matters. Because it's not just about performance, it's about data. Every robot on the field collects feedback, improves navigation, refines behavior, and learns from real-world variables. China is learning faster because it's failing and iterating in real time. So is the West doomed to fall behind? Not necessarily. But it needs to shift focus from just software innovation to deployment strategy. More cross-sector collaboration. Faster approval pipelines. Support for manufacturing and robotics startups, not just LLMs. Because the AI future won't just be written in code. It'll be built in steel, powered by chips, and walking among us. Up next, what this means for investors, and how to position yourself in a world where AI isn't just a tool. It's becoming an active participant in the real economy. So what does all of this mean for investors, analysts, and anyone paying attention to the future of artificial intelligence? First, we have to acknowledge a simple truth. AI is no longer just digital. It's going physical and fast. The age of chatbots and virtual assistants is giving way to an era where machines move, see, hear, and interact with the world just like we do. That shift changes everything. We're talking about a multi-trillion dollar transformation across multiple industries, logistics, healthcare, defense, consumer electronics, elder care, and more. Every sector that relies on human labor, especially repetitive or dangerous labor, is now a target for intelligent automation. And that's where the new wave of robotics companies comes in. Investors who only look at NVIDIA and ignore the broader AI ecosystem may miss the bigger picture. Yes. NVIDIA's GPUs are crucial, but what about the companies building the robots, designing the systems, and deploying them at scale? In China, that means names like Unitree, Fourier Intelligence, Huawei's AI hardware division, and even emerging players backed by Alibaba and Tencent. While many of these firms are not yet publicly traded, that could change soon. And watching their trajectories now gives you a huge advantage later. On the Western side, don't overlook companies like Agility Robotics, Boston Dynamics' parent Hyundai, or Figure AI. Some are private, some are venture-backed, but all are building real-world solutions that could define the next industrial era. Then there are the infrastructure plays, cloud providers, edge computing firms, chip makers, and cybersecurity providers that will support this growing robot economy. And yes, there's also the question of ethics, policy, and data security. As these robots become more intelligent and more autonomous, questions around control and oversight become critical. Who owns the data they collect? How do we regulate AI behavior in public spaces? What happens when AI makes decisions on behalf of governments, hospitals, or military operations? These are not questions for tomorrow. They're already here. That's why smart investors won't just chase hype. They'll study deployment trends, supply chains, and government strategy especially in regions like China, where top-down policy can accelerate entire industries. So whether you're investing money, time, or attention into this space, here's the key. 
Don't just watch what AI says, watch what it does. Track the movement, the use cases, the scaling. That's where the real signals are. And as always, in a world where AI is watching us more than ever, make sure you're protecting your side too. Stay informed, stay secure, and stay ahead. If you found this video helpful, hit that subscribe button, give it a like, and let me know your thoughts in the comments. Let's keep exploring the front lines of the AI revolution together.